I'll tell you one decision. Okay, yeah, I'm playing Grand Photo Sunrise Dime Edition. Oh shit, that place again. Yeah, it seems the location has been changed compared to Biome version 0.8, 8.1. Uh, anyways, uh, today can play a mission made by uh, Jamila Park, and the count mission is baiting the hook, which is the uh, third mission of his uh, the Mastermind series. So yeah, we're not wasting further time on like this mission. Starting this mission right now. Los Santos few minutes after Brian Scott phone call. Ring. Yo, is that CJ? Boss, it's me. The info we found in last locker complete checkouts, it's them. I've been monitoring Jerome Thompson's house since early morning. A while ago, he finally got out of his house and followed him to the nearby bar where he met with the other two guys from Lance List. Jerome Thompson, Brian Hendricks, Ross Reed, they're all still at the bar. What are they like? Anything stand out about them? Boss, to be perfectly honest, from what I've seen, they seem like a bunch of idiots. I have no idea how they managed to kill Lance or Galacher or anybody. Only thing worth mentioning is that one of them got a call a few minutes ago. There's a danger ahead. Amazing on answer and the group reaction. It seems they are going to Las Venturas tomorrow to meet with somebody. Probably the person who was on the other end of that call. Anything else? They seem to be going there to do some sort of work. It's all I got so far. Good work. So what's the next step, boss? Attacking them? Despite everything you've, been, you've seen so far, we're not going to judge a book by its cover. As far as we know, that could be the mistake that cost Lance his life. On the other hand, if they really are idiots, then they could be working with someone else, someone who slipped it under both Lance and Gallagher's radar. He said one of them got a call from someone regarding work. Maybe that's our missing piece of the puzzle. I'll tell you what, I'm calling everyone off right now. We're not gonna move in on these guys at the bar, not now. We'll use them as bait. We'll follow them to Las Venturas and let them take us to wherever they're going. Once we are there and we see exactly where what we're dealing with, then we'll make a move. Got it, boss. It's not just them I want. I want whoever they're working with too. I want them all. Let's venture the next day. The boys are here. Yo, look at that, nigga. Welcome to the big leagues, fellas. Could have fully awesome minute to go, bro. On the art side, this place looks like a real dumb. Yeah, that's the whole point. Cards outside, right? Yup, why? We don't have, we only card outside because we don't want to draw attention to this place. I'm gonna park, get in here with the others, but first, let me show you around the place, come on. First, we have a tech station. GTA, GTA T, Nate will walk through you. Yeah, whatever. We'll have to have a nice lunch here. And two badass sitting in, in it, Billy and Ricky. Ha ha ha. A few king size bet here. I hope you like sharing. Hell nah, bro. I ain't sharing a bed with another man. I'll take the lunchy gooch couch. And lastly, a place to eat or plan on the biggest heist this city has ever seen. There's still some stuff that we need to get make to make this place complete, but that's about it. What do you think? It's awesome. I like it. No doubt. 
great. You can go bring your car inside and make yourself at home. Uh oh. In the meantime, ring. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, boss, they reached this, their destination. It's a huge warehouse complex in Randolph Industrial Estate near their freeway. What about the access? There's only one entrance as far as we can see, boss. The walls around the place are high, and there are no really no good vantage point. There's also no way of telling how many others might be in there with them. But there's absolutely no way that they're all alone in a place as big as that. Then we're gonna use the appropriate approach. What you're gonna do is to find a place where you can overlook that entrance. Get it done, even if that means that you're being on foot instead of sitting in a car. Uh, call as soon as you see anyone leaving that place. I already have a car waiting to follow them as soon as they get out on the road. They'll do the rest. Got it, boss. A couple of hours later. Say hi to your cousin for me, babe. Love you too, bye. Yo, bro, I have a question for you. You got the money, you got the girl. Life is good. So why will you come out of retirement for this job? Ain't like you need it, or is it the underline or what? Not everything is as it seems. My money supply is not looking so good as I haven't done any jobs in over five years. Then there's also the fact that I need to contribute to the purchase of this base and the gear, which costs a lot of money, by the way. In other words, I do need, need the money and a lot more than you do. I'm just eager to finally see you in action as you dodge that diamond job. After all, you're the best according to your guys, right? I think it's about time we get to see it. How much money are we getting on this job anyways? You still haven't told us. We didn't want to reveal the surprise too soon. Come on, man. Just tell us. All right. 200 million. To be continued. Lucky shock. Or maybe not. They're not surprised. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Stay tuned. I'm going to play a mission very soon. All right. Gonna play a mission made by uh, Jimmy Lepard. Yeah. Oh shit, I can even jump higher than the entire itself. But the selling is like, uh, there's no more like collision. And the town mission, it's uh, Gambling Venture Part 1. Which is a fourth mission of uh, his, uh, the Mastermind series. So yeah, what I was for a time, like this mission. Stopping this mission right now. Two hundred million, that's, that's almost $30 million a piece. You have money that so none of us have to do this kind of thing ever again. Oh, we're definitely ready to get to work. That's good to hear because we're gonna start right now. Nate, it's time. Caligula's Casino, the biggest and the most profitable casino in Bass Ventures. Nid got us the blueprint of the building way before you guys even joined the team. He gave us the foundation we need to even attempt to pull this thing off. But it will require a lot of preparation work and focus. More on that later. Casino building is a fortress, but even as such, it still has a building. Just a building. It's not alive and it's not unpredictable. It cannot surprise us with anything because we have a blueprint. And with that, we already know everything in there to know about it. However, what is alive and unpredictable are the people who run that building. 
The owner is Ralph Brown. He also happened to be the richest man in Las Venturas. He's a smart and arrogant prick with a lot of lawyers, judges, and cops in, this, in his pocket. That's why, legally speaking, he's untouchable. On the other hand, he also has a large and formidable security team, which protects him and his casino from guys like us. They're guarding casino inside and out, so we have to be really careful, especially Brian Ross, since you two will be going inside the casino disguised as a member of the casino security. Say what now? What? You thought you were going just to count the money or something? You need to play some blackjack with a drink in your hand? We're not robbing the liquor store here, guys. It's a bit more complicated than that. We'll be all taking huge risks, but if we stick to the plan and stay focused, we'll keep the risk down to a minimum and that way make this job a lot easier. Scott prepared, mentioned the prepared work earlier. There's two four things that need to be taken care of. That's right, we need to do the gathering and the info and the planning part of the prep work and now it's time for us to do the field prep work. Take note. The first thing we need is also gear. Special weapon, reinforced and armor and set of transparent gloves for each of you. We're getting all the from that are small but resource for local growth weapon sellers. You guys should have a meeting with them within the next couple of days depending on when they are able to deliver the stuff we order from them. But we brought our guns, why can't we, can we just use those? Because we cannot use our regular weapons on this job. We're getting special weapons for a reason, because they're special. They won't have any serious number, which means they are uncrustable. They also have modified scratched chambers to throw off basilistic. On a job of this magnitude, you want to be ghost. That means eliminate any of the breadcrumbs which could eventually lead to anyone, especially cops, back to you. Sure, all that will help us stay invisible during the job, but you still have a much bigger problem on your hands, the weapons dealers. Damn right, once we show up on that meeting and they see our faces, they will have become a liability by the time we leave the building. Are you really insinuating that we should kill them after the meeting? Yeah, if we're gonna leave with no trace, then we cannot leave them alive after they see our faces. That's not how things work. They'll see our face, we'll see theirs, so what? It's not like they don't they know where, who we are or what we're doing. They'll be there just to do business, just like us. That's it. Bro, it cannot be serious. We are robbing the richest guy in Las Venturas. Once we, t we steal his money and we find out that it's stolen, he's gonna start dishing out rewards to anyone who cuts into the guys who robbed him. You really think that sooner or later those dealers aren't gonna sing? Nah, fuck that. Enough, alright? We're not killing them. We'll go there, get the stuff, and leave. Got it? Psh. Due to efficiency number of objective left, this mission is played two parts of equal light late. Gambler Adventure Part 2 contains the other half of the mission. Enjoy. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching and see you next time, guys.